answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted, and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Answer. Because you are that. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Bitch, I'm back. I'm popular the man. Yes. Oh, I do apologize. Was I muted all this time? Let me go back. Was I muted all this time? Because I was talking about my fringes. Let me make sure, because I had to start this over again. Don't make me have to start. I'm up here four minutes into this into this live. Big Chew, let me know what's going on, Rumpy. Hold on. All right. Well, if y'all ain't hear what I said, I'm just going to rewind it just a little bit. I got my fringes on. I got my fringes on. Welcome, welcome to Uncensored Enlightenment Talk. I'm not sure if y'all heard it. So with that goes to say, we're going to do it one more time because I just noticed like the mute was on. Okay. Now today I have a one-on-one customized. This is my own design, my own idea. I know I'm not designing clothes for people, but I like to get my own stuff customized. So this is brought to you by Shoe Pound Customs. Yes, this is my son C. This is my son. He had his business since the age of 14 years old, customizing sneakers, then moving on to tailoring and actually making um, clothes, you know, from scratch. So I have my um, fringes on, okay? Only a few people understand what that means. So I'm definitely grateful because I had this idea and he brought it to life, you know? Who, who thought you could make a hoodie with fringes? Eh? you know about that okay 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 i'm misbehaving y'all gonna see his video come up y'all gonna see his commercial come up let me take him off the screen i love you guys i hope you have guys are having a great monday yes i don't usually go live on monday but we're doing it today because i missed this weekend because i was doing my thing you know what i was doing this weekend guys y'all wouldn't even believe i was working i was working i end up going to um one music fest not going but attending as a registered nurse. So at these big events, you know, I told you I've been trying to leave the nursing floor, finding different ways to continue to love on people, do my thing thing. So I came across a great company. We were out there working as paramedics, uh, EMT, and I was a nurse. They had a doctor out there. And um, I did not get to see the show. It was a two-day fest. No, I did not get to see the show. What I will say, everybody in the tent was very professional. Um, ugh, very busy. We have we seen a lot of people, and I'll be gonna talk about that today. I'm gonna give you our warning just going into this. Um, THC, THC, you can be intoxicated, it can become toxic. I don't think that it can kill you, but I don't like the effects of it. Okay, so we were there. I was there this weekend as a nurse, and I'm gonna tell you my little experience, not people. Pacific, but specifically with THC overdose, I literally was telling my coworkers, whoever is at this music fest selling this THC at 500 milligrams, 250 milligrams, need to go to jail. Yes, I said it. I'm not hating on 420. It is what it is. But when you overdose it and you don't understand what it does to the body and then me, then we got to deal with it. I mean, people were looking like they was in seizures. I was a little bit nervous because I never saw... Um, someone kind of like a little bit OD, they overdose and die, but they, they were literally to the point that people were having seizure like symptoms. I'm just gonna be honest, I'm trying not to like really get into it a lot because it's not the nurses and the nurses news network, but I'm gonna get into THC intoxication because I thought it was fake. Okay, I did. I saw this article a couple of months ago and I was like, 
THC intoxication, projectile vomiting, and you know, things like that. I was like, that is anti, that's a, a, like basically opposite of what THC is supposed to do. But then I still had to think about it like a healthcare provider. Things that, you know, like if you take too much blood pressure medication, it can drop your blood pressure. You can have an opposite effect. So a lot of these medications can actually do more than what it's supposed to do or work opposite. So I was keeping that in mind. Um, I don't want to make fun. We're going to go over. I wish I'm a, mm. I mean, they was like this. I'm not being funny. I'm not being funny. I got to show you because I was like, yo, we got to do like, you know, I was handling it. It was very professional. It was amazing. Um, but THC intoxication is not safe, guys. You don't want to go through it. You you are going to need something to help you kind of stop vomiting, you know, because it, it is projectile vomiting. Um, person is very out of it saying weird stuff. You know, I saw a lot of different people from younger to older because they had it there. So the first day, the issue to me was the gummy. They had gummies in the edibles. Okay. And I was like, oh my God. Then the next day, you know what ended up happening? They had the juice because one of the patients was like, well, I just had the juice. And I'm like, oh my God. So whoever this guy was out there in Atlanta Music Festival, shout out to you. You almost was killing people out there with the THC. But I will close off by saying the artists that I did hear loud and clear because we were in the tent. I would say like I would say this article. I don't know if people are talking about it. I mean, this artist. But um, I think Kendrick Lamar actually captivated the audience. I did not get to see none of it because when we were set up, you could kind of see some a little bit, but as more people come, you know, you definitely can't see it. And I never was really, we never even had time if we wanted to, but I ended up going out to go into the bathroom and Kendrick Lamar's song was on. And, you know, it's like when I came in and you just had to start rocking and all of a sudden all the healthcare providers were in there running around, people a little started rocking. And I'm like, and then we said something funny and just got back to it. And it really hit me how, not only music vibrations, but the aura of somebody can really captivate. Like everybody was this at a standstill. It was a vibe. Like Kendrick Lamar was a vibe. I didn't see, I, I promise you, I could not see the performance, but he was a vibe. Like we felt it. That was the only performance where I said, I really felt it. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you. Why I wasn't live on Sunday, came home all late, tat, pooped out. So I'm grateful to be here tonight.